Alright, freestyle. Make sure you're using your legs, jumping off the block, okay? Don't just fall in the water. Putting your hands in the streamline, good, but your feet need to be a little bit tighter. You just kind of forgot that your legs are attached to you and they completely relaxed when they need to be in a nice tight streamline with the rest of the body. Good underwater kicks. That's what your breakout. Pretty good on a breakout. You kept your head down. That looks good. Now it looks like you're swimming with straight arms, which my guess is you're going to get tired very fast. Now, I'm not sure what your club coach is teaching you, and I don't want to go against what you have learned at home, but my suggestion would be to have a little bit higher elbow for you and not to have completely straight arms when you swim because you're going to get tired much quicker. You're going to have to take more strokes as well because you are not as strong yet. That kick is a little bit too high too. See that leg, how high it is out of the water? You have really nice and strong kick. You just got to place them a little bit. Your feet a little bit lower. Let's see your turn here. Good turn. Nice job. Nice job. Let's watch that breakout of your wall. Kept your head down. That's great. Great job. And if we will watch you in a slow motion, you can tell that you're getting a little bit tired now. Your legs are working really well. It also seems like you're not rotating enough. You need to rotate a little bit more to help you to reach a little bit farther and also will save up some energy. You will not have to take as many strokes. Let's see what you do underwater. Okay. Good kicks. Just a little bit too big. You see how much you're bending your knees? Remember this is sprinting. Great breakout, keeping keeping your head down. You can have your fingers a little bit close together. Here you can see how they are spread apart. Let's see this. See, I was telling you about how flat you are. So your shoulders are not rotating and your hips are not. And what happens with that, your body is kind of arching. And remember Dan and Coach Beth were talking about dance that you might be doing because you're not rotating. So that's what it looks like. But See that your hips are and your shoulders are not moving together. You look, and also looks like you're looking forward. You need to be looking down. Good kick. You just got to kick a little bit more from your hips. Let's watch the turn. Your feet are together in the wall. Remember, you want to place your feet shoulder length apart so you push off well. Great streamline. Again, great breakout. Good high elbow here, but you drop it though because you're not rotating. It's really hard for you to pull all that water so what happens your elbow drops and your stroke is much shorter you can see it's already finishing up see the rotation would help you so much so your main things for you actually just one rotation just by rotation you're going to be able to fix the dropped elbow and going to help you pulling all that water and also will save a lot a lot of energy for you okay all right good job